Hello, at the Seahawks fan with another Go Battle League video, and today we have a spice pick that can uh, one shot plenty of dragons in Master League. And that is Porygon Z. Gonna have meta on it because we have uh, a lot of Dust Man Equismas to worry about. With Quakes, I'm just gonna take out a Dusk Man, which is beautiful. Outrage lands, and we get the Dragon Tail down. Okay, Landorus. Now, this is definitely a target that we can nuke. But we're just gonna try and. We, we, we hope to take a shield, but they did not let us. We're gonna pivot into Porygon here. And since your storm picks up the debuff, that's annoying, but we do grab a shield off them, which is nice. Now, Tri Attack actually has a chance at getting your attack and defense drop against your opponent. Which can be really handy. And is definitely a nice move. Now there are some other nuke moves. So maybe we'll see another. Some more Porygon. But here we are. Porygon did a nice job. Trying to make a catch of that move. I, I may have underestimated the damage. Uh, the energy on Palkia. But they go for the bait. And then they go for the nuke. And they take the loss. Let's go. Uh, win with the Porygon Z that is shiny. Almost perfect. So close to the Shundo, but it's fine. It's not. It's uh, very pretty shiny. Really nice blue. And Sunsil Strike lands. We, they, we, they bring in Mewtwo. Annoying because we'd want to get damage on Dustmane. But we pivot into Dialga. Because we got some nice chip with that crunch. And we're looking to set up our Porygon for a potential second dragon in the back. They Shadow Ball, big damage, get me down to red. But I should reach a War of Time. Then the return of Zygarde and hopefully Porygon can clean up what's in the back. Now, as a normal type, it's uh, Porygon is not going to take much from Shadow Claw fast attacks, but it does not have the move set for the Lion and Dawn Wings. Well, it can be interesting, but Dark Pulse will do a lot, and we're just going to pivot and get the farm down. We're going to find a Kyogre in the back. No dragon. That that is it is what it is. But try attack a one, grabs the debuffs. Try attack number two. They should be in range of the KO. We grab the last shield. We get another debuff. We barely get beat to reaching a move. We're going to just throw one more lock on for free energy. And kaboom! Goodbye. Kyogre get wrecked by the Porygon Z. And we get the lock on down on that lion. And now we have a Origin Palkia. Perfect Origin Palkia. Mind Games here. Who is going to go for the nuke? They're going to CMP tie when we have energy for Earthquake. Ooh, they get a shield with that Aqua Tail. That's really good by them. We settle for Crunch. Able to land and avoid another charge attack. We are down a shield, which is tricky. And we have a ground on, which is good into our dragon in the back. And I mean, with no shields being down, Borgan definitely is going to be tricky to get it going. We definitely want to shield a piece, but we did already get the defense drop from Crunch, so try attack. Oh, and we get that debuff. Can we call a fire punch? Precipice Blades, oh, they nuke us. But Origin Dialga going to come to save the day. There's a lion in the back. We're just going to go for the War of Time straight away. Are they going to let us land? Let's go. And now we are going to be able to farm down. They'll reach two moves, but they're not going to chip us down enough. They need Outrage, and they don't have Outrage. They have Dark Pulse. And let's go. Another win. Porygon Z, despite nice spice pick, definitely has its target. And now we have a Dust Main Necrozma. This one is a cool shiny one. That's cool. Yeah, hit the like button if you enjoyed the videos. Can't wait for the new season to... Well, get to uh, learning a whole new meta.
and greatly go through the game master league but here we are dang it earthquake go shielded they do use a shield though so that's nice sun seal strike is not enough for the ko can we reach oh they swap we'll take a shield advantage we'll have Porygon Z to bring in and it's a precipice play it's good are they going to respect the damage? We're going to take the chance and expect them to respect the damage. Dang, Nabbit should have gone for the Blizzard. But we do get debuffs. And debuffs put them in range of another try attack Shields down. And they're going to press with Blades us. Ooh, they just missed out on the KO. That's a tad annoying. And I didn't miscount. That was only Fire Punch and they were double debuffed. But press with Blades still would have hurt. A steel type and we expect them to bring in a dusk main we swap they get nuked by earthquake and now we have a origin dialga and origin dialga is able to clean up this mess with the warp time ko beautiful ko now we have a kyoga lead okay this is nice this is a nice lead we are gonna go we're not going to throw the first move, but that's only so from them, so that's pretty nice. Oh, we find a Xerneas. We're going to bring in Porygon Z into the deer. I don't want to see how much damage I take. Going to full send the Blizzard to Kaboom! Freezing the deer. Thankfully, it's under leveled, otherwise it would have taken that a lot better. And close combat because they're about to get taken out. Little tricky scenario. I mean, we're going to be settling for tri attacks, which will get some nice chip. No debuffs that time. Maybe this, maybe second time around, debuffs. Let's go, debuffs acquired. And we do reach a third tri attack to grab the last shield or KO. And they don't want their energy to go to waste. They pivot into Necrozma. And they may have, I honestly, I feel like they have Origin Pulse. By them not throwing a move into Dialga. Although maybe they want Blizzard for the Zygarde. And here we are. Dialga closing out once again. Another battle. Do they have a Blizzard? Thunder. Oh man, they was they were toast. They prepared for the Kyogre Mirror match. But not the Double Dragon in the back. Having to clean up. Okay, they pivot into Origin uh, Dialga. Ooh, they do get to move first, which is it is what it is. They actually win CMP tie. Blizzard goes cop boom! Nuke getting the Origin Dialga. We do have to throw Tri Attack to take the KO and keep alignment, but that is actually pretty nice. We're actually down the shield, which is bad. They do get a nice cycle cut down. That's big for them. But I'll gladly bring in Dialga to deal with the Mewtwo. Ooh, Shadow Ball. They were going for the damage. I guess it's fine. A little tricky scenario in the endgame with Zygarde. Sunset Strike does massive damage. Silly me because they are going to shield up this lion. Should have just gone for the crunch. Would have had another crunch right there. Am I going to take the loss? Oh, Shadow Claw farms me down. Okay, well played. Silly Goose me throwing that game. Trying to go for the nuke. Silly me, but we're going to have a, a decent, de decent job. And the Blizzard on Dialga. And we have a bit of a spice pick in uh, Ursaluna. Ice Punch does a lot of damage. I really hope Barcelona gets Shadow Claw in the future because that would make it so good. I mean, it's such an accessible XL Pokemon. And in this meta of Necrozmas everywhere and dragons everywhere, like, it would give Barcelona a big, big advantage. I don't think they're going to let me land the Blizzard. And, okay, now I get the defense and attack drop. That's beautiful. Now, there is a potential for Aura Sphere, then, or maybe Flamethrower. They do get my shield with a debuff, Ancient Power. I actually definitely forgot they were debuffed. 
But I did not want to take Oosphere. I actually probably could have reached two Iron Heads even if they did have Oosphere. But they have Shadow Tornator in the back. Tornator does not like the Earthquake. We go. Kaboom! One shotting. The Shadow Tornator. Let's go. Getting the nuke from Earthquake. And we have a Wooden Dog in the lead. Okay. We're gonna shield a nine head, unfortunately. Of course, that's fine. It is what it is. We got crunches. We grab a shield. Defense drop. Let's go. That's some big damage. Another defense drop. Let's go. We get the luck in our way. And Ina does not take us out. We pivot into Porygon Z. I don't think they're going to let me land a nuke move. But try attack spam. Oh no, I actually could have gone for the Blizzard. It would have done neutral. Big hitting move though. But we are going to... Oh, I just needed to sneak in one more lock on before throwing that second move. We're not going to shield up a numbers taking out Porygon. When we have a fully healthy Origin Dialga. And that's our win. The safe swap getting absolutely wrecked by Porygon. Wasting its energy. Let's go. We have a Origin Park in the lead. Not too shabby of a lead for us. And we are gonna... No shield. We no shield Aqua Tail. Let's go. Are we gonna double no shield? We do. And double no shielding yields in the alignment. With some energy. We have a fellow that completes Zygarde. We have Zygarde v Zygarde. We pivot into Porygon Z. A different Z Pokemon. We're going to no shield the crunch because if they get a defense drop, we're going to wish we had no shield the first one. Do they respect the blizzard from Porygon? They go kaboom! They, get dis they disappear. They leave the battle. And they do have a Shadow Kyogre. Cool. But two shields apiece. We have Origin Dialga, which is just going to be able to out damage with the fast move. And beautiful. The Zygods disrespect the Porygon Z. And Z gets its its nuke. Now we have a lead up against Shiny Lugia. Very pretty. Very awesome. We get the defense drop. That is absolutely massive. That's huge. Thankfully there is no attack boost from Aeroblast. That would be bad. They're going to be outpacing to the Sky Attack after, before our next, uh, last uh, crunch, but energy on Porygon Z is nice. Does Hydrogen respect the Blizzard? Do they know what is up against them? Kaboom! One shining the Hydreigon. And they were not prepared to take out Porygon and my Dialga with the Tapu Lele. The Blizzards going in and nuking so many Pokemon. The damage is crazy from a little, like, electronic Pokemon, Porygon Z, the little dude. We do pivot into Land of His. Probably should have just stayed in. Now they do. They, they, they may know. Oh, no, they did not know. Let's go. We were debuffed and we nuked them. We unfortunately do not hang on to reach a tri attack. But the energy, I mean, it's going to go into shield and dragon breath pressure is going to be a lot. Do they know the counts? Do they think it's a war of time? Let's go. They shield up the iron head. I'm just going to go straight to Zygarde to grab the last shield off them. Are they going to have the move to take me out? Do they have dog pulse? Is that enough? It's not enough. And I can get one last crunch. I want to get the move. Honestly. I, I definitely think I did have to throw straight away. But that's another win. Let's go. Zygarde v Zygarde. To pivot into Dialga. Find a land of us. Okay. Even with the energy advantage for Dialga. They're going to just get to the next move. Just first move first. It is a shame, but thankfully Landris is getting nerfed in the new season. 
and I'll gladly take some energy on Porygon because Porygon, they are going to bring in Zygarde. They don't want the Zygarde Mirror Match. They are not going to respect the Blizzard. And we are about to go. Three, two, one. Kaboom! Nuking and getting the Zygarde out of here. Now for fun, let's see. I mean, this is the last Pokemon. They know we have Zygarde in the lead. Or maybe not. No, they should have. They should know. We have Zygarde. They can pull out Last Shield, but... I mean, they are Ghost-type, and Chat Claw's barely doing anything. Try attack won't do much, but they do shield up the, the Cosmo, which... I wish they had let me land the Blizzard. Moon Guys beamed not much. They know we have Crunch, and that's going to nuke them. And I hope you enjoy the battles. Subscribe to the channel for some daily Go Battle League videos and other good Pokemon content. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the videos. Helps YouTube uh, to recommend the videos to other people so I can grow. And uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.